you know what? October Red Boxing, that's who I am first of all. Lovely to meet you, to have you on the channel. I've watched your fights. Nico, you're going into bout number three. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yes, you know, I'm lucky enough to be on a matchroom show again. Um, it's part of the stable where we've got three on, you know, Dalton's headlining, me and Janaid are on. So uh, it's a good opportunity for me and also the gym, you know, to get the exposure we deserve. And I only fought five weeks ago, so straight back into camp and straight back to learning and improving and, you know, taking what I've learned from the last fight and what in the gym we're sparring to um, show more improvements in this one. You know, when you said that you was just out five weeks ago and straight back into camp, and obviously that learning period as well. How do then you just go back into a fight so quickly when you've just literally come out of one? Um, the right training, the right mindset, and you know, I boxed well in my last one, and there was a lot to um, also take away and learn from. So it was good to, it was almost a challenge to go straight back into the sparring and try and put those new things in, which I did. Um, and also because I was fit, I was on weight. It, probably helped a little bit as well because I didn't have to spend the first bit of camp worrying about those things. I knew I was sharp and ready to go again. The bantamweight division, exciting division, tough punches, quite a dangerous division. How do you think you'll fare up in that? Like I said, you, you're quite active. An active fighter is a good fighter in my books. How do you think you'll fare up in the division? Because you're quite young, aren't you? Yeah, you know, I'm only 22 and I, I'm not cocky or anything like that. I know I've got a lot of learning ahead of me and a lot of improvements to make. Well, give me a year or so and I'll be right up there, definitely. What I will say is I like how sharp you look with your footwork in the ring. Footwork is something that I look at because, to me, I believe that feet can win fights because they can get you out of tricky situations. You mentioned that you had to learn a couple of things from your last bout, albeit you won, albeit you put on a performance. Give us a couple of things that you had to learn and take away to prepare you for moving on to this opponent who's a tough three, three win as well. Yeah, you know, I had a great successful amateur career and did a lot of things well in the amateurs, but that, that doesn't always translate into being a good pro. So it was about taking my strengths and adapting them to the pro game. You know, I was straight into a six rounder in my last one. I weren't messing about with no more four rounders. Getting used to the pacing, being economic with my work and not wasting the punches, looking a bit more, setting a few more traps. And I did a lot better in that second fight with those extra two rounds. So the improvements going forward is just becoming more grounded, like you said with my footwork, a stronger base, better feet, more controlled in my movements and my rhythm, and um, you'll see come Saturday night. And we talk about that, and one thing I want to touch on is your gym and your trainer, who's a lovely guy, somebody that trains, I think, uh, uh, Sonny Edwards, I need to get it right, I always get it mixed up. Talk to us a little bit about your gym and the fighters that come out of there. Yeah, I'm blessed to be part of such a, a buzzing stable at the minute. You know, we've got three on this weekend. Dalton's going for the British title. Me and Janae coming through, but we're surrounded by champions everywhere you look. And it's not only experience in the ring, but also out of the ring that you can gain. You know, I, I go to the gym and I'm not just learning about my own craft. I'm learning and picking up things on what they're doing, things I can put onto my own game. So, um, you know, I genuinely think it's one of the best stables in the country at the minute. We like to hear that. Nicole, short and sweet, but we're going to continue this tomorrow, October Red Boxing. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.